This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 UTG 2675 ultrasonic thickness gauge. The UTG 2675 is designed to test thickness of metallic and non-metallic materials as long as they have parallel top and bottom surfaces and sound waves can travel through the material. This model also has a through coating function which allows for tests on painted and coated surfaces. Live A scan and B scan provide the highest level of functionality in thickness gauging today. The technology incorporated uses a high quality delay line transducer for high resolution that transmits and receives sound waves. Generally, velocity of sound through the material to be tested is a known value and is supplied via chart in the manual. In the case of the UTG 2675, we have preset the unit velocity to read steel, which matches the material of the built-in test block. You always have the option to manually preset the velocity of any material. Each gauge is supplied with a 15 MHz delay line transducer, a bottle of coupling gel, two AA batteries, a USB stick with software and operation manual, NIST calibration certificate, and a carry case. Now let's move over to the operation of the UTG 2675 and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. To begin, insert the plug of the transducer into the gauge. Press the power button middle right to bring up the interface. You can power down the unit by pressing the same button. P1 P2 and P3 operate the function shown on the screen just above the button. The mode key, middle left, allows the user to toggle through the settings and parameters for testing. This brings up the main menu screen. The arrow keys allow the user to scroll through the different settings and menu options. The middle right button is also the calibration button. The UTG 2675 has two methods for calibration to choose from. A single point calibration which allows you to calibrate directly to a specific material and a dual echo mode which allows you to calibrate the velocity value based upon a known thickness. The UTG 2675 has three different display modes to choose from. The normal mode is used to obtain a thickness value of the material being tested. In this mode, the interface will show the thickness of the material, sound velocity, and the unit weather intermetric. The A scan mode is an interface that allows you to see the present thickness value and the A scan waveform at the same time. The right side of the interface is the specification adjusting area, which can be adjusted for a more precise result. The B scan mode is a time based B scan function. By moving the probe across the surface of the workpiece, you can obtain a cross-sectional profile of your part. This allows for viewing of the contour of your part. When you remove the probe from the workpiece, the gauge can obtain the minimum value of the B-scan image and indicate that position with a red arrow. The UTG 2675 offers selectable resolution. Open the menu, scroll down to resolution, and press the P1 button to enter this parameter. Using the arrow buttons, scroll down to the desired resolution, which can be an inch or metric. Metric can be set at 0.1 millimeter, 0.01, and 0.001 millimeters. Inch can be set at 0.01, 0.001, and 0.0001 inches, respectively. Taking tests is very easy. After making sure your measuring parameters are set correctly, inch, metric, and velocity of material, Place a small amount of gel on the workpiece and then follow with the probe on the workpiece. Readings will show on the screen. Be certain not to use too much gel. Use just enough to remove the air from between the probe and the test material. Testing in through coat mode. The UTG 2675 can accurately measure the actual material below the coating utilizing the dual echo measurement principle. This feature allows you to measure the material without having to destroy or remove the protective coating of a surface. Press M to go into the parameter interface and set measurement mode to dual echo. In the A-scan interface, 
Press the P3 button to highlight the value to be adjusted. Then press the direction keys to adjust the values. Up and down keys are used for small increments, while left and right are used for larger increments. Adjust the sensitivity of the gauge with the unit decibel. The larger the gain is, the higher the sensitivity is. The gain ranges from 8 to 55 decibels. Some helpful hints, when testing flat parts, the gain should be low. Aluminum and cast aluminum should also use low gain. Steel, stainless steel should be somewhere in the middle, while cast iron pipe should use a maximum gain. When in echo to echo mode, the red arrow on the screen should point to the first wave. The blue arrow should point to the second wave. This tells you that you have the gain set correctly. In standard mode, only the red arrow will show. Blanking hides the unnecessary and useless clutter in front of the main waves. Incorrect readings can be caused by material issues such as corrosion, internal material defects, or even a specific material such as aluminum. Only adjustments in the gain can solve part of the problem. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 UTG 2675 ultrasonic thickness gauge. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.